Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released November 2022 security batch for Pixel devices and I have it here installed on the Pixel 6a to show you each and every new change. But before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel. It's only less than 500 subscribers and the channel will reach 100k. And I really appreciate if you can help me reach the next milestone. But for now, let's find out what's in new in November 2022 security batch for Pixel devices. So let's start with the build number here. I have it on the 6A. It's TP1A.2211105.002. I don't have the update size because I didn't get a notification for the OTA update but let's move on to the new features. The first change I spotted is under the widgets. Now when you expand the contacts app, you will see a totally new widget here called single contact. It has a much bigger thumbnail and a button to call or text. But unfortunately, when I try to add this contact to the home screen and then choose one of the contacts I have, the whole pixel launcher crashes and return back again to the home screen without adding the widget. This is the same widget we saw in Google's I.O. about a year and a half ago and I couldn't find the same one on any of my other pixel devices running October security batch. It only started to show up after installing November update. So please let me know in the comments if you are facing the same crashing issue when you add this widget to your home screen. The second change is in the app drawer. On the left I have the pixel 5 running October update and as you see I have the word all apps that separates between the suggested apps and the full list while here I have a separator or a horizontal line between the two which is the same thing we have in the QPR builds of Android 13. Change number three is in the screenshot bubble as you see in November update I have an X to dismiss it which wasn't the case before and the same applies to the clipboard bubble. Now let's move on to the settings and if you are using one of the Pixel phones with the under display fingerprint like the Pixel 6 models and later, now when you try to add a new fingerprint, you will notice that the icon is no longer moving all over the place to guide you in the setup process, but it will stick to the same position all the time like showing here. So it's less confusing than before. And lastly under settings and then notifications, then do not disturb, then schedules, you will see a new schedule here called bedtime mode, which is a quick shortcut to activate the bedtime feature. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. So these are all the changes I spotted in this build. It's a very minor update and it doesn't include a lot of new features, but also Google pushed some fixes that we're gonna go through right now. Fix number one is for an issue that causing increased power consumption while certain apps installed. And this fix only includes the Pixel 6, 6 Pro and the 6A while the 7 and 7 Pro are not included. If we're gonna move to the second category, which is display and the graphics, it only includes fixes for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. The first one is fixed for an issue occasionally causing green display flicker in certain conditions. And the second one is optimizations for the display power consumption to improve thermal performance in certain conditions. And if you saw my battery comparison between the 6 Pro and the 7 Pro that you can see its link now on the screen, the 7 Pro was most of the time warmer than the 6 Pro and it also failed to record more than 8 minutes of 4K 60 while the 6 Pro recorded 11 minutes without any issues. So it seems like the problem here is with the display consuming more power in certain conditions. So I will install November update on the 7 Pro and redo the test and see if there is any improvement and keep you updated in my upcoming video. So stay tuned for this one. Fix number three and the last one is for an issue occasionally causing Google Photos to crash when using certain editing features. And this fix is also for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro models only. And finally, when it comes to the performance of this build, I didn't spot any major bugs while using the phone and the performance is very smooth as 
expected. Uh, when it comes to the Geekbench scores, it's within the same range since August. As you see here, I have August scores, which is around 28 to 2900 and this is the same thing right now 2900 as well so don't expect any major jumps in the performance when it comes to battery i didn't have time to test and see if there is any improvement but maybe over time i can update you on this so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes in november 2022 security batch for pixel devices please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video